All right. <laughs> For those who care, I finished the apron. She's really cute. I did some overkill. I lined it and did all this crazy mess that made it take too long and uh, probably made it a little bit smaller by doing what I did. But I really wanted it lined. So anyway, <laughs> it's kind of funny because Christina um, messaged me about making a pattern for making an apron for her. And I got to laughing because I said, oh, boy, this thing is little. It's The pattern says one size. And what that means interpreted in pattern world is only if you're small. That's the only way it works. So <laughs> when, you make a, when you make something from a pattern, you have to read the size you think you wear and then look down at the measurements they have for your bust and waist and hip and the length when it's finished and all that stuff, and you'll find out that three sizes up is going to fit you and not the size you normally wear. <sighs> Why do they do that? I don't know. But anyway, it's as cute as a button, and I'm going to lay it out and show you <sighs> why it doesn't fit us fluffy girls. <laughs> I don't think we should wear it, but it is cute. So... Here's the pockets. I worked hard on the pockets. I thought they were really cute. So here's, this is why. <laughs> I mean, you can still wear it. I got it tied right at the ends because I don't want, to, I want to be able to get out of it. But this here, the apron part should actually come over here a little bit more. So all I'd have to do is cut the pattern bigger. That'd be easy to do. So, Christina, you know, we can still talk about making an apron. I will tell you this, though. I'll tell you in a minute. I don't have access to fabric stores way out here in the sticks. So, excuse my mess everywhere. I'm, I'm practicing for when I'm going to live in a tiny house. <laughs> I have everything in the way. Anyway, this is real cute. Maybe this light will show how pretty green it is. It's really a gorgeous green, but for some reason, my phone, yeah, I'm on a cell phone. I have a GoPro, but I can't get along with it. Um, it's a really pretty green, but anyway, it came out real good. I just did some overkill in making it. You know, I got it lined, and nothing wrong with lining it. I turned, I sewed it, let me put it this way. I, um... Had to turn it all inside out once I sewed it, and then does that make any sense? Anyway, the way that I made it, I didn't have any seam binding with me here in the country, so I couldn't put a finished seam on it. But what I did with here, this was fun. Put a little bit of lace on there, and I made some little puckers and tried to pull it over from the edge so it would be, so it could, you know, didn't want to lay it completely flat and sew it, but I thought it was fun. It was so much fun to make, and I'm going to miss it. <laughs> I love that fabric. I'm going to have to, um, like I said, I'm not near any fabric stores. I'm like two hours from the nearest big town. I'm really in the sticks for now, but I hope to, uh, I hope to move to an area that's I don't mind being in the country. I just like to be able to take like a 30-minute drive to town. 30, 45 minutes is okay. So there you have it. I live in the sticks. I live on the edge of Virginia. <laughs> I don't want to live here. I don't hate it. I just, uh, like I said, I want to move to Tennessee. I want to kind of leave Virginia. I've been in Virginia all my life, and I want to go to Tennessee. I hope to go live in the incredible tiny home community. And, Christina, thank you for your reply. It's so much information, things I would not even have thought of, and I really appreciate that. Thank you for um, replying to me. I have so much fun. I love talking to people. And I don't know. If you find some fabric, let me know. How much, I mean, I can tell you how many yards, and maybe I can make this pattern bigger, and I am think I can, but maybe not if you like the way it looks. It, actually, this is what happened, what I meant. I, the, 
the front, let's say looking at the front of the pattern and then the lining, okay? Um, I originally sewed them together like I'm supposed to, but then I realized I didn't have any seam binding and I didn't want, I wanted to have a nice finished edge, so I sewed it like this, <laughs> then turned it inside out and then sewed the edges of that. So it probably made it about a half an inch smaller maybe across here, this part. So, but anyway, it is a nice pattern. That one is the cobbler pattern, apron. The <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show you that, and I'm going to go ahead and take some pictures, and not now, because it's humid, yucky out there. But maybe tomorrow, take some pictures and put it on my Etsy shop. I need some sales. <laughs> I'm not asking y'all for sales. I'm just saying, Lord, please send me sales. <laughs> I know, everybody is having a hard time, I know that, but don't forget to tithe, you tithe, the Lord take care of you, sow some seeds, I read today, uh, I believe it's in Job, where it says, you shall decree a thing, and it shall be, I'll have to find that verse and show it to you, but, anyway, that's the apron, <laughs> hope y'all having a good one, and I hope you, if you're hot, please get inside, hope you got air conditioning, this is not climate change, kids. <laughs> it's called weather. <laughs> it's been hotter than this in my lifetime. Screaming hot. Brian's getting ready to come in. I will see y'all later. All right, one last piece of this video. Here it is on my mannequin that a friend of mine gave me a long time ago. I don't know why she gave it to me. I think it's a size four mannequin it's little <laughs> this is how I think it's supposed to fit see it's supposed to cover your front and your bust and so that would be this one size really fits people who wear a four six maybe eight that's how I'm going to market it as a small yeah, anyway it's adorable and for me, of course, it needs to be bigger. And I don't have to explain anything about why I'm the size I am. <laughs> I had cancer about six years ago, and I was down to skin and bones. And I don't mind having some meat on me. Not anymore. I, don't. I couldn't wait to gain that weight back. But anyway, this ain't about me. This is about this adorable thing here. I think it's really cute. I've already said that 50 times, I think. But it did come out pretty good. And this is what I meant. I sewed these two together, supposedly facing each other, and then at the bottom left an opening, and then flipped it inside out, and then sewed the edge. Um, if I hadn't done that, I would have had a... I'd have to tuck in an edge. I don't know. That sometimes just looks tacky. <laughs> I like that better. But even then, even with that, what's in there, about maybe a quarter or a half inch, I still wouldn't have made this thing fit me properly. See, I couldn't do this. Chubby girl like me. <laughs> um, about six years ago, I could wear it. <laughs> um, anyway, I just want to show that to y'all. I got to get back in because, phew, it is hot. <laughs> but it's not that hot. Back in 07, I think it was, no, 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 it was 08 or 09 in Richmond. I was living in Richmond. And we didn't even, we stopped having humidity. It got so hot, it was just oven hot, like, like a desert. I didn't hear anybody climate change screaming back then. No, they were talking about other stuff like glaciers melting. And You know what? If you know God and you know your Bible, then you know all that climate change stuff is a bunch of baloney well maybe you don't <laughs> everybody's got an opinion i just go by what jesus says what's in the bible that's all i want to know yep all right y'all have a good one we'll turn it off